A digital revolution is taking place. Sweeping changes being brought about by computing power and mobile technology are here. How do you see life being different in 10, 20, 30 years from now? How will the digital economy change Arlington? Arlington County is hosting a series of public discussions about these very issues. Join us on November the 29th at the AUSA Conference and Event Center from 7 until 8.30 p.m. And be part of the future to seek and discover the unharnessed power of technology and define Arlington's digital destiny. If you think about the, what the asset we have here, we have a small community that lays on the footsteps of Washington, D.C. And we have a demographic of a very young technology aware community and the expectations of that community are growing. And what's happening is they're sort of outpacing what we're doing and providing for services in the county. And data is to be, is the driver. So, it, you know, when you think about all of the change that has taken place over the last 60 years, 70 years, most of it has taken place in the last 15 years. Uh, and so it's all of these forces coming together now connectivity, it's the broad digitization of, of devices. The key is being observant about the trends, and I think that that's what, you know, that, that's what comes out of digital destiny. What role should government be playing to make sure that our citizens are not adversely impacted? So I think first and foremost, governments need to foster an innovative environment, and they need to ensure that they don't pigeonhole innovations uh, based upon what they perceive that innovation to address. More the fusion of these services, transportation with healthcare in particular, um, and ways to, because one of the outcomes of good transportation probably is also good healthcare and good healthcare outcomes. And so um, I feel like that some of the things we're doing on fusing that information Things we've done with transit screens, for example, in certain places would be an example, but I wondered if there were additional things we might be doing to integrate with those kinds of services, education, the universities, the employment centers, ways to get more people to take advantage of alternatives to driving their own vehicle. This is not an issue of one city or one town or one county. Okay? This issue, whether it's a revenue issue or even technology issues, a lot of the issues that cities are facing right now in transportation and smart city in general it, it can be only solved when there's a collaboration between multiple cities and multiple stakeholders. And frankly, that's kind of lacking today. Uh, and that's by design. Every city wants to be the best in the world. And th that doesn't necessarily <laughs> give them an opportunity to work with other cities very closely, although they superficially they work together. Nobody even knows what the next iPhone will look like. And that's, what, less than a year away. And here we are trying to talk about uh, the digital divide and the digital uh, horizon, the digital destiny, which is 10, 15, 20 years away. So we won't be able to nail it down to some very concrete things, but we will be able to nail it down to what we call these principles or these strategic uh, areas. Um, we've touched on some great things. I'm a big fan of uh, building digital. Um, so instead of buying um, Comcast or one of these co uh, consumer service networks who then run cables into us, why not build it into the house in the first place or into the business? How do we teach our families who may not, who are low income or um, don't have that understanding of digital media, how to access that kind of high quality education? Uh, we don't know what the next key jobs are going to be. The important thing to do though is to look into whether it's cybersecurity or another occupation and realize that the fundamental skills of critical thinking, ability to communicate, ability to work in a team, creative thinking, those are what we need to emphasize, particularly in K-12, and build student, build student futures that way. Where do you see technology headed in the future? This whole approach we're taking with Digital Destiny is to really develop game, uh, guideposts that we can look, we can provide to our elected leaders and to the community to say, what will this mean? So as we go and make a decision on something that you may say has nothing to do with technology per se, the siting of a school, the place to put a fire station, how we handle parks, how do we handle transit. If we have, we have this knowledge about us that says the world's changing at that speed, then before we make that decision, we need, hopefully, the people who are making the, making the decisions to look at these guideposts and say, 
what should I keep in mind? What was said at this discussion today on how we deal with seniors in terms of the policies I'm setting that may affect their lives in the future?